Well, most um, non-functioning pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, we have to remember there's a couple different types. There are the functioning types, which can produce hormones and cause endocrinopathies, uh, high insulin levels, high glucagon levels, and that can cause a lot of symptoms for the patient. Um, but for the non-functioning types, if they're small, most of these are picked up incidentally because patients are getting scanned for other reasons. Um, for patients that are presenting with symptoms, sometimes that can be related to uh, blocking a pancreatic duct and uh, the patient having uh, pancreatitis. Um, if they grow to large size, certainly they can start pushing on other organs and that results in uh, whatever symptom the patient might be having. Commonly, if it's pushing on the stomach, the patient will have early satiety. Um, in other words, basically they'll get full a little bit faster after eating. Um, and, uh, you know, these tumors can also invade other structures in the abdomen, uh, so the spleen, the liver, um, and that can cause uh, uh, some related symptoms of uh, abdominal pain.